people per paper. Uh, paper. Through these new technologies, getting that message out to tens of millions of people is not only possible, but it's also extremely desirable right now as we really try to tackle uh, sort of historically legendary problems and challenges. So um, with that, I'm going to say hello to Richard. Can you hear, hear us? My goodness. Hello from the Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> this is, this is a green island, island on the Great Barrier Reef. Either. I think so we're in Singapore. So it's looking pretty good around me at the moment. Some good corals, fish, and even the odd sea cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be frightened, it doesn't bite. <laughs> it's very pretty. Honestly. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about the technology? Can you tell us about how the camera works? <laughs> yes, the scooter, it travels at about four kilometres an hour, and it takes 360 degree panoramic images every few seconds. So this means for the first time, people will be able to explore thousands of environments along the length of the Great Barrier Reef, just like this one from the comfort of their own home. So we'll just have a bit of a look here, and you can see some nice soft corals. And as Christoph, the cameraman, pans right around, we've got a beautiful plate coral over here. So the reef I'm talking to you from is actually off Cairns at Green Island. And there's some pretty nice healthy corals around here. Can you tell us a bit about the fish as well? Uh, there's quite a few different fish around. There's some damsel fish and humpbugs um, in this, this bommy around. And there's a few larger ones swimming around behind me at the moment. Some lunar rats and some other fish. So it's a good, healthy fish population.